Oh, finally. It's been what seems like forever. We're here in Lubbock for autocross. About to pull all my shit here. I got everything like nice and puzzle pieced in. Grab all this shit. I'm gonna go get in line for, for tech. It's like a 2.7 mile course today. I'm just seeing the map for the first time. I didn't post it online. And it's definitely long. Hopefully we get a couple parade laps. And it doesn't seem like many people are here. I guess people are kind of still showing up, but I don't think many people are gonna be here today, which means it's gonna go by quick, which is great, because it's gonna be like damn near 100 today. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be an interesting day. And I finally remembered to put a mount on my GoPro or a GoPro mount on my helmet. So you guys will get that that angle today. And of course it rained last night and we're staying in a hotel and all my car is just filthy. Swipe the windows down, but damn it. Keep that PM4 there, keeping things in check. Hopefully next time we come and do autocross, I have like a, you know, at least a hatch or the subframe in or something. It'd be very interesting. No, oh, and we didn't know. I ordered the tubular rear end and carbon fiber hatch. I need to find someone to make some glass for me. Some lighter glass. Shave all the weight back there. And I can get a corner balance and realign. I need to raise the front a little bit. It's rubbing because they added caster, but uh, it's going to be exciting. I'll have to get a picture of the road map for you guys here and uh, go walk this course. I need to pull a couple more things out of the car and figure out where I want to attach this GoPro thing on the helmet. I'm thinking just like right here on the side. Where you guys can like see it. Maybe I'll do it on this side so it's maybe you'll get part of the shifter in there. I don't know. We got this guy. We'll see. Right now it looks like we only got four groups of about five or so in each. Normally it's about double that. I guess with the virus and everything and all that. The first couple of events this year, we were hella people though. This is good, I'm not gonna complain. This means runs will go by fast. And you have to work the track literally half the day and standing out in 100 degree heat. And you have to wear pants here because of insurance. Um, it gets pretty, pretty rough. So thank God for these, whatever they're called, thingies. I got some shout out to shop that. 034, we got some LZ Blue Water. Hell yeah. Got some USP uh, removal before launch. Things pretty dope. Anyway, this thing like keeps. Like, I'll have like ice in this thing for like well over a day if I'm not pouring like really warm water in it. So it's nice with it. But about to pull the valve caps off, set uh, tires cold to 30, and uh, go from there. Move my seat up, put this armrest in. Got the GoPro up there. I put the mount on here. Hopefully that's good enough for you guys. I sit pretty close, like pretty freaking close to the steering wheel, as most people should when they're doing this kind of racing. So, and hopefully this is a good view. I think I got the angle off a bit. Damn it! I'll have to play with it. All right, guys. Well, uh, my group's up first, so this will be interesting. Uh, the GT3 doing some practice laps for the timers this morning. I think he was getting like the high 60 second range. So um, first two, we do six in the morning, six in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go take like the first two laps decently easy. Um, the second parade lap we did, we got to do it with a little bit of speed. So take like this first first or second one, check it out. It, it, what sucks is with not having, I think we have like five or six cars in my run group and that barely gives me enough time to uh, check tire pressures between laps so we'll see how this goes yes like I, I got them cold set at 30 in the front 31 in the rear and uh we we'll just have to see i'm excited i already got to go potty and the mall's not open yet and there's no porta potty so this kind of sucks oh and my sticky gopro thing like there's no good angle on this dang helmet to put a gopro i have to get is like it's flat so I need to get one of the curved mounts and then I don't know maybe I'll just go one and like stick it right here and it'll be a little offset sitting I didn't realize how much the GoPro puts weight because I had it over here and then my whole helmet was like 
sagging real bad to the right and then it just fell off so it only had like a little bit of surface area that sticks since it wasn't curved <laughs> anyway Eric's here with me for a little bit today um, I'm gonna get him to get some laps on here before he leaves and of course I got the GoPro I'll get a couple in here and then I'll get the suction cup and throw it around and anyway let's just hope we're like top two top three today Excuse the wind, it's always windy where I live, as you can see. Um, timers kept messing up, so we probably did like eight laps, and only like four of them counted. But of those four, they actually got one of my laps that was really, really good. And I have first place as we sit, and we've only had, well, it's about half half the people have ran so far. And then we'll do, we usually do two sets of six, but since it only got four of the six, 
Um, we're gonna do eight laps in the afternoon where it's gonna be even hotter. Um, I'm gonna have to do like three laps and then do two cool down laps and then three laps again. Kinda sucks. You don't get all that much airflow. Um, especially, you know, you're sitting in the pits, you know, waiting to go again and your brakes, I mean, they're not cooling off at all. They're just sitting there, you know, smoking. And then the one run, one lap I did, I went to change my struts. Um, you know, like turn them down or turn them up five, I forget. I've been playing around with them a little bit. There's some decently tight corners and then I'm like left foot braking to trying to like dive the nose in so I can get some front grip and it's a little too, a little too stiff. So I had to like uh, soften up the dampening, but uh, I popped the hood, you know, to do that. And I'm seeing all this, not a ton of smoke, but like a decent little bit of smoke coming from near the turbo. And I'm looking around, looking around. Of course, I have my helmet on, so I can't like really fit my head back there to look. And I'm trying to do my tires after each lap, keep keep my tire pressures consistent. I'm looking around, looking around, and there's a big old bug that like got caught by between like where the turbo boats to the head and where the turbo blanket is. And it was just sitting there cooking. It didn't smell like coolant. My coolant level hasn't dropped. Didn't smell like oil at all. I was like, what the hell? It scared me for a moment. I was like, uh oh. Because like the other week I kind of spilled some oil on the on the back there and got it on that AC line and, and all that. So I think a little bit of that's burning off since my oil temps right now are like one or 260 some and it's hot out here obviously. So I think it's still burn off a little residual that's the heat's finally making its way to and everything's getting like super heat soaked back there. But so far so great. I mean I'm holding like I said with the GT3 was like in the mid to high 60s i had a 62.301 so uh yeah i just need to need to hold that but uh eight laps in the afternoon next run roof's getting up there now it's already like 85 degrees at nine in the morning i am hot but uh i'm gonna switch the gopro around after this and uh see some shit Is the only thing that's like. Well, I mean, I think he's the only one that I've heard with this. He's the only one using it.
world's fastest times though. This turbo truck is super dope. Well, what a day. It's starting to now get really, really hot. I can finally switch out my pants for shorts, but I wound up with a 60.775, and the next car behind me was an S2000 at 61.3, so a little over half a second spread between first and second. There wasn't all that many people here today, which turned out great because it's seriously hot. Hopefully next month it'll be a couple degrees cooler, but uh, I don't know if you guys could see in that one clip, I actually got my coolant temp light came on and jumped. Uh, I mean, the temperature was pegged all the way down. I don't know, it was like severe heat soak on the sensor. And as soon as I, it wasn't more than like 10 seconds and it just like dropped back down to normal. But uh, that was a little scary. First time I've, I've seen that. Definitely uh, definitely a pucker, especially when you're, when you're mid lap. And I was like, well, she's gonna blow, she's gonna blow now. And I just mashed the gas and let her rip, but. Um, great day, awesome day. Brakes are doing great. Shout out to Willwood uh, tires, Bridgestone RE71R, doing their job. Of course, uh, the EQT Turbo and and all the other stuff. I still need to upgrade intercoolers. Um, my racing line is just not holding up to 32 pounds, especially in this Texas heat. I mean, I mean, I don't think any cooler could do anything for what I'm doing right now. You would need good amount of meth to keep it anywhere near ambient but um, talking straight line stuff it's still it's still heat soak on top of 432 pounds so um, intercooler is probably next ish be between that and seats if we get a new another stimulus check but uh, hatch is ordered need to find glass for it rear ends ordered tubular rear subframe with tubular Control, tow, and um, Sorry about that. trailing uh, orders. Anyway, um, oh yeah, that turbo truck, it's a F100 body on top of a Crown Vic frame, and then they turboed it. I want to go look at it here in a second. I guess some, some of his kids were over here and we were talking, and they asked if I, if I had a YouTube channel and stuff. So, shout out to you guys, making me feel uh, kind of special out here. <laughs> but, man. All right, time to change. I'll talk to you guys when I get home or something. Great day. Car did great. Um, can't wait to get that, that rear end in and getting rid of all those bushings back there that'll probably beat the hell after beating the hell out of this car for so long. It's going to be so nice to be able to keep uh, the suspension from deflecting during turns and all that because you can kind of feel it. The bushings back there are just getting so worn and well, that's just what happens when you race. You know, They're not made from this for this from the factory. They're going to have bushings that are made for comfort and negate vibration and all that so changing all this up is going to be huge really huge and i still got i got stage two mounts um from bfi on the way they still said like three to four weeks they're like severely backed up so um be a couple of real nice changes here soon i'm going to keep the suspension pretty much the same spec that i have with in terms of toe and camber and stuff in the rear but it, it's going to stay that way you know, in the corners and stuff, and all that stuff should be solid and not able to deflect at all, so. That'll be really nice. And, uh, all right, yeah, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I rambled on. I'm probably gonna ramble on more after this. <laughs> well, yesterday was a dope, dope day. Um, I kinda liked that there wasn't that many drivers because they went by quick and it was hot. Car did great, other than that one time that the, uh, coolant pegged down. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the sensor got heat soaked or what. I mean, the car drove fine. It's like a 110 mile drive there, 110 mile drive back. Um, not a hiccup or anything on the way home. Um, uh, my trans did get a little hot. It was like trying, it, it didn't want to go in the second, but I looked at my gear temps on the computer there and they were high. So, I mean, beating on the car lap after lap after lap, not much time in between laps. It, uh, Definitely got a little warm, but uh, it was also a high of like 101 that day. Yeah, it didn't get that hot that early, but uh, like the air temp, but like, you know, all the heat coming off the ground and all that, and obviously not being able to cool down. Anyway, it was a great day. Car was great. Hopefully, 
parts start rolling in here soon. We got autocross again next weekend, Sunday in Amarillo. Um, the last event in Amarillo, I got first. And then this event I got first. So next week, if I get first, I'll be my first time getting three first places in a row. Which would be dope. Um, I, I didn't get an award from last time because I didn't have any printed. But uh, I'll be getting, she should have one for me this weekend. And I got like two or three sitting here that need to go up on the wall still. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll start putting more on that side or something. I got so many now, which is so awesome. Like, this is, this is what I live for, so. Anyway, we're looking out for that. And then we got a drag race event the next two weekends after that. Uh, big events uh, at the tracks. One's in Amarillo, one's in Lubbock. One's no prep, one's prep. Uh, one's flashlight, one's not. So, we got that to look forward to. And uh, we'll see what else happens. But uh, just stay tuned. That subframe and the carbon hatch will be here in no time. Um, it's going to be awesome. Super awesome. Oh, I got to make a video on my truck this week. I got it registered and everything. It's a GMC Sierra 3500 with a 7.4 liter <laughs> big block thing. It's a dual cab, long bed. It's old. It's a 98. But uh took it out last night. It's my birthday Monday. This is Sunday. We took it out last night. Uh, the dog and some blankets and beer. Um, Kaylin drove out and why? Well, yeah, she drove out and we put the blankets down. We chilled out in the middle of nowhere under the stars for like four or five hours. It was so awesome. And we were out there like four in the morning. She fell asleep. It was me. The dog was running through the fields. The moon was nice and bright. It was awesome. So so many shooting stars. We wanting to do something like that for a long time. And now I got a truck. I can just go do whatever like it's awesome and it's so weird like i mean it's huge it's massive com especially compared to my car and then um just sitting up that high and everything is so weird being in a truck but i like it it's comfortable it's pretty cool but it eats gas like a mother it is i mean it's 7.4 liter <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot but uh eventually here we'll get a trailer and then uh you know for the big events like in denver and houston and you know, I'd like to go out to Streetcar Takeover in Phoenix at the end of the year and uh, all that jazz. So we'll see. I'd like to turn the car up a little bit more. and That way I don't have to like, for lack of a better word, you don't have to pussyfoot it when you're 10, 12 hours away from home. You got a, a trailer to bring the car back in case something happens. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you on the football.